What's going on, agents? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer checking in with my first build guide for Title Update 8. And this hybrid status bleed build, while not the hardest hitting build or the build with the highest stats, is a lot of fun to use and can seriously put the hurt on targets using both your weapon and your bleed status effects. And as always, if you like what you see, please take the time to hit that sub button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from my YouTube channel. And with that, Let's begin. This build is centered around the four piece tip of the spear gear set, along with one piece of China Light and one piece of Golden Gear Limited while using the Demolitionist specialization. With this build, we are going for weapon damage, status effect damage, extra damage to targets under a status effect, and grenade launcher damage. So to start off, let me show you my weaponry. I custom crafted this FAMAS as I like the rate of fire and super easy handling characteristics that really make this thing a laser beam. I rolled on a max weapon damage roll along with damage to health and damage to armor. You could really customize this build to the status effect of your choice, but I chose the sadist weapon talent to grant me 20% additional damage versus bleeding enemies. Crit really is king right now, so I went with a CHD muzzle, CHC laser pointer, 20 round sturdy extended mag, and CHD red dot sight. If you prefer to equip an LMG, the MG5 or Negev would also work very nicely. The Baker's Dozen M1A is perfect for this build for when you need to reach out to targets at longer ranges. In the future, I will recalibrate my rifle for more rifle damage, but the M1A really is the strongest rifle right now and should be selected whenever possible. Like my FAMAS, I've gone with a CHD short grip, 5 round extended mag, and CHD mini reflex sight. Remember that the classic M1A models do not allow for a muzzle mod. Alright, now onto the gear, and for the mask, I am using the tip of the spear mask with weapon damage and status effect as the attribute. The two-piece tip of the spear bonus awards 10% signature weapon damage, the three-piece is 10% weapon damage, and the four-piece grants 20% more weapon damage for 60 seconds after achieving a kill with your signature weapon. It also regenerates specialized ammo every 60 seconds. The body armor is tip of the spear with weapon damage as the core attribute and status effects along with a critical hit chance mod. The body armor is the gear piece that activates the aggressive recon bonus. The holster is from the new Golan Gear brand set, and we use this for the plus 10% status effect bonus for using just one piece of this brand set. Golan rolls with armor as the core attribute, so try for the best you can in that department and then look for decent attributes. I rolled status effects onto my gear piece as one of the attributes. The backpack is a piece of China Light Industries gear for the plus 15% explosive damage, which stacks onto the grenade launcher. Although you could use Wyvern or Hana Yu in case you can't get a decent China Light backpack, but you do want that skill tier core attribute for a little extra skill damage. My backpack has status effects along with skill haste as the attribute roll, along with a near max skill haste mod. Now I am using Creeping Death as the gear talent to help spread the bleed status effect once it procs on an enemy target, although I could have also used Wicked for the extra weapon damage. Either of these are excellent, so I'll leave it up to you. The gloves are tip of the spear, with weapon damage and a maximum status effect attribute roll. The knee pads are the fourth and final piece of tip of the spear, with weapon damage and status effects as the attribute roll. Skills for this build are the Stinger Hive to help spread that bleed status effect and make sure you equip Stinger Charges as one of the mods and I have paired it with the Explosive Seeker Mine for even more bleed status effects. Both skills are skill tier 1 from the China Light Core attribute for a little extra kick. I am of course using the Demolitionist specialization and at this point the grenade launcher is pushing out 2.9 million damage, but be careful because as part of 2U8 is reduced specialized damage versus named elites. Finally, don't forget to equip the frag grenades for even more bleed status effects on your targets. Now in the future, I may move the mask over to China Light and then equip the tip of the spear backpack for an additional grenade launcher round every 60 seconds, but for now, this build is a ton of fun. Once you have the bleed status effects spreading throughout the NPCs and are mixing in weapon kills with Sadist and the grenade launcher damage and total weapon damage procs, this build can really do a lot of crowd control in very short order. 
I'm going to finish up this build guide with some highlights of me using this build, and as always, I look forward to reading your thoughts in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, please smash that sub button and click on the bell icon to receive all notifications from my YouTube channel. If you like the video, rate it with a thumbs up, if not with a thumbs down. If you feel like supporting my content creation operations, look in the video description for links to my Patreon page and Buzz Boutique merchandise store. Follow me on Twitter for my posts concerning most things gaming related with a heavy emphasis on the Division franchise and until my next upload. This is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.